I know you have plenty of confidence in yourself. Does this mess with you as far as what you've been doing all these weeks? A little bit, of course. I mean, it's going to mind all that goes up and down. Uh, we're just ready to go away and get no chance for us to just get them out of there as quick as possible. Uh, some speculation that uh, because they had to wait such last minute to grab this guy, he's going to be his fifth. Do you know anything about it? You know, basically, we don't know nothing about him. Uh, we know he's a hard person. That's about it. Uh, I know you, I've seen you fight, and I get the real sense from talking, I've talked to you plenty of times, I get the real sense, this guy's in some serious trouble from this. Some serious trouble, they know, this has been, like I said, this has been getting me mad, getting me pissed off, and it shouldn't have been happening, none of this. Uh, so, you know, you saw it for the guy who's going to send him home, as fast as he got it. Uh, you and your dad sat down and had kind of a brainstorming session, anything like that, when you found out that this, this Gideon wasn't going to be fighting? This is a boxing thing. We're here to fight inside the main box, and now, you know, we take all comers. A lot of people say, no, you know, if you fight this, if you uh, pick who you're going to fight, uh, if this comes wrong, we get them out of there as fast as they got here. We leave. And, uh, you know, the waiting's almost okay. over. These guys keep saying, once this one's done, then he gets in the old days, you, 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 you can walk in here and eat your lunch and the rest of the time. I can wait a few months more. Uh, when they come, we're going to take advantage of it. We'll be the real kid. I'll be the real kid. Cursing, don't be walking and stealing nobody's cars and whatnot. Listen to your parents and be good. I love you. All right, Pete. Uh, hey, I can't. Here. I'll give you mine. 
They give me a t-shirt. Somebody else been wearing to bribe me for an interview. Boy, they think I'm cheap, don't they? Man. You want this one? Fit this, fit this. Man, tell us up, man. This is the best you can do. Look like you just took it off somebody, man. You have a new shirt in the, in the office? Golly. The same thing asked me to do. Boy. All right, what you want? All right. Can I get you to get Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That's right. That's that T and T. Kathy A and Mr. T. All right. <laughs> I already gave a good message to the kids. That's important. The kids be good, stay in school. Look here, when you see me on TV, if I couldn't read, if I didn't stay in school, I wouldn't be on TV. There's a lot of reading involved to be an actor. So remember that. You know, so be good. And watch the, what's the name of your show, man? Eight Count Boxing Hour. The, the who? Eight Count Boxing Hour. Eight Count Boxing Hour. Get ready to get on the scale. Well, start 
puerta y buena vera acá. Bueno. No. No, yo no puedo No, si está el 110. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Este mexicano no es capaz. Sosa, 114 and 1-14. Whenever you got, whenever you're ready, don't worry, Paul is going back into the WCOO meeting. We've got to talk in this, uh, uh, Vince de la Vega, Tamiani, Juan Luis Rico, Juan Luis Rico, Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah, yes, sir. Paul Chapman right. calling you. Get over. All right. All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, my God. Hey, Paul. 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 This gentleman was the number one attraction. He boxed and filled the Hollywood Legion Stadium 14 times. He boxed at the Yankee Stadium, Central Park, Wiggly Field. He's from Alabama, New Mexico. Okay, sir. Good job. Good job. Good job. Javier Cintron, Danny Romero. What do we have on that? Give or take? <coughs> on the way? <coughs> no, give or take it on 18. <laughs> Kid Dynamite Romero, 118 even, 118. Same way with the breath. The ball's no. 
Debbie Ford, 138 and a half. 138 and a half. Don't forget your physical, Debbie. You never did give me that. The one that, 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 that the Negrito and the Chicanita kid, the four rounder, Sanchez and uh, Sanchez and uh, forget the other guy's name. Wheeler. There you go. The four rounder. Yeah. You guys still going or? Okay. You guys done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's hit the light here. Alright. I'm gonna stop. You know, <laughs> finish, you see? Alright, can't possible. I don't know what it means yet, but I'm learning. Two words a day. Alright. Okay, joining us on the eight-count boxing hour, we're here at the Ramada Classic. The one and only Mr. T here. He's gonna be in the corner of the world champion Johnny Tapia. And uh, first of all, welcome to Albuquerque, Mr. T. Thank you, brother. Good to be here. Have you been here before? My first time. I'm glad to be here. All right, now uh, you're going to be working the corner for Johnny, is that the deal? You better believe it. You could better believe it. I've been in the corner before with him back in, uh, I think it was May of 94, you know, so, and besides that, I've been in corners before, so I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm not going to be fumbling around, you know, like a lot of, a lot of makeup guys in Hollywood that don't know a, a scrub brush from an uh, ankle thing. You know, I know what I'm doing, you know. Okay, you're going to carry all that armor into the ring no, there? No, no, When I get to the ring, I'll probably just have one earring because the stuff will get in the way. That's why I'm not, mostly I wear more jewelry than the seals, about 40 pounds. But I just want to let people know that it is me. But tomorrow, it'll be serious business, no jewelry, maybe an earring. I don't want nothing to get in my way. Okay, Mr. T, uh, I saw you in the ring with the gloves on one time against one Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yes. How did that match go? Well, you know what happened. You know what happened. <laughs> You know my reputation, man. Did you hurt the man or oh, what? Man, next question. <laughs> wow, we here for Johnny. We don't want to hear. We're not here to talk about Mr. T because that take about two days, you know. <laughs> but I'm here for Johnny. You know, Johnny is the star today. You know, I'm 43 years old. I'm an old man. You know, I'm just, you know, just a uh, 18 veteran that's going around telling the kids to be good. Basically, I'm just trying to use my celebrity status to give something back in the neighborhood. Like I tell everybody, if I never be on TV again, if I never make another dollar, all I ever wanted to do was take care of my mother. I tell everybody, you know, if you want to know something about Mr. T, when I was in fourth grade, Robert Taylor Project, Southside Chicago, I come from a family of 12. I got seven brothers and four sisters. I was born and raised in the ghetto, but the ghetto was not born and raised in me. Drugs and crime was over me, under me, and around me, but it wasn't in me. Why? Because I love and respect my mother. I'd rather die in burning hell than, dis than, than dishonor, disrespect my mother. I'm not scared to go into jail. I'm not scared to fight but I respect my mother. My mother wouldn't want me doing bad things, so I don't do bad things. So that's why I just try to let kids know and see what I'm about, and they can say, wow, I'm in the ghetto, I'm, uh, I'm doing bad, but I don't have to be bad. Mr. T was poor, he didn't rob nobody, he loved his mother. So that's all I'm just trying to do, you know. So like I said, just use that mes message. And meeting with Johnny, you know, so we're gonna be doing a lot of things, going to the neighborhoods, when he's fighting or not fighting, going back to the schools. We're just gonna do a lot of good in the neighborhood. Okay, well how about that, Mr. T right here? Pretty good guy, huh? Johnny? You got a heck of a fight tomorrow night, defending the world title for the first time. How, how are you feeling? How's your state of mind? I'm ready to go, you know. I'm just focused. I'm disciplined. I got dedication. I don't want to say too much. Come Friday night, I'll show all the people in Albuquerque I'm still the champion. Is this the first time you got to look at your opponent? Yeah, no, yesterday I seen him too, but he'll look at me and I'll look at him when we get to the ring. Okay. I've never been cocky. I've never been nothing, but I refuse to lose and I got the good Lord upstairs on my side and I'm ready to go. Do you have any uh, new weapons in your arsenal of, of boxing technique? Just the same old Johnny. Just go in there and do what I got to do and do what I do best, and that's win. Are we going to rock the pit tomorrow night? Yeah, we are. Okay, what do you want to say to these people here on the eight count boxing hour? What do you want to say to the folks right here, John? Uh, just, I'd like to say a lot of thanks to Mr. T for coming down and being in my corner. And God bless everybody in Albuquerque. And 
Just hope that I can keep the world title and bring it home. Okay, we're proud of you. Mr. T and Johnny Tapia right here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks,